Please subscribe this channel now. Truly unique cars are few and far between these days. Every manufacturer is finding new ways to share components. And most models color combinations are limited to shades of silver with tones of beige or grey inside. It's a miracle the Dodge Viper's low-volume Detroit, Michigan, assembly line continues to birth snakes with a 645-horsepower pushrod V10 heart, an engine that is, for all intents, unique. One has to imagine that if Mr. Martin had his way with the merger, the Viper's near non-existent capability for sharing would relegate the American anti-Corvette to the scrap heap for good. For now at least, the Viper carries on. Our newest test example wore a custom interior and paint designed by a guy named Sneaky Pete, or so says a badge on the dash. Mr. Pete chose a beautiful multi-dimensional silver paint and an alred interior for this GTC model. But this car's hierarchical place in the Viper Pit is a little confusing. The GTC is above the base Viper SRT and the next up GT and below the GTS model, but both the GTC and GT wear GT badges on their front fenders. To add to the confusion, Sneaky, as friends call him, added the GTS interior package, $8,500, bringing a full leather cockpit. Does this make the car a GTS? No, not really. The Time Attack Group 2.0 package, $8,700, was also fitted. So this is a TA 2.0, right? Not quite. True Taz are built on the base SRT and come with cloth seats and a plastic dash. The Time Attack Groups, both the 1.0 and the Wing 2.0, like this one, include the majority of the TA's go-fast bits, suspension, wing, spoiler splitters, brakes, but not all of them. Two notables missing are the SRT hood, six hood vents versus the GTS hoods too, and the carbon fiber X brace, a really fancy strut tower brace that saves 2.9 pounds over the standard brace, although both of those were added back into this car, for $500 and $2,800. It wouldn't be totally incorrect to call Pete's car the nicest TA 2.0 out there. Sneaky Pete is actually the nickname of the original 1990s Viper logo and not a person, and it is the name Dodge picked to apply to this example of the Viper's new custom process called One of One. The program offers more than 50 million possible combinations of paint, interior, and stripe color. Dodge also limits the color combos to first come first serve. To ensure each one of one is unique, Dodge will make you wait for the following model year if, for example, you want a white on white Viper with an off white stripe and an identical one was already ordered. Pick your own hues here. With a few other line items, this Pete designed Viper totaled $126,085. It's capable of accelerating to 130 miles per hour in an 11.5 second quarter mile. That, my friends, is smoking fast. A Chevy Corvette Z06 manual will match its time in the quarter, but the vet is traveling 5 miles per hour slower. By 150 miles per hour, the Chevy lags by 1.3 seconds. First gear in the Viper is good for 60 miles per hour each shift feels like you're flipping the world's heaviest light switch. The shifter snaps into place just after entering each gate. If you're missing shifts in this car, you're likely driving with one hand on top of the wheel, too. With the ACR now out of confinement, the TA 2.0 and Time Attack Group 2.0 Vipers are no longer the heaviest hitters on a track. It isn't for a lack of trying. All Vipers, be they the base car or track spec, are stubborn, stiff, and loud. Tiny cracks in the road resonate through the ultra-rigid chassis like firecrackers in a drum, 